The island of New Caledonia has some spectacular scenery, but for the drivers and teams in the Asia Pacific Rally Championship, last weekend's Rally of New Caledonia proved to be one of the toughest and roughest in the six event series. Initially, the event was led by Proton's Per Gunnar Andersen, but the Swedish driver lost that lead on Saturday morning with electrical problems caused by one of the many deep water crossings. Australian Chris Atkinson then took over the top spot in his MRF Skoda until he too lost time when his Fabia stopped in the middle of a stage on the final morning. Atkinson did get going again, but only after his teammate Gaurav Gill passed him and took over the lead. The Indian driver then only had to make it through the final spectator stage back in Umea to claim victory. We did what we were supposed to do. We, dro we drove fast wherever we could, whenever the car was right. Yeah. And we did some good times and uh, hung in there and uh, guess just a bit of good luck at the end, I think. With Atkinson retaining second place, it was an MRF 1-2 on the podium and plenty of French champagne to celebrate a team victory. Third spot was claimed by New Zealander Brian Green in his Mitsubishi Lancer, the Kiwi also claiming top spot in the New Caledonian Championship. But behind the top three, there was carnage. Last year's APRC champion Alistair McRae went out on the first day after ripping off a wheel partway through stage two while local driver Jean-Louis Lodeau was yet another driver to retire after a water crossing. It was an event where the mechanics and technicians really made the difference, keeping the cars going in impossible conditions. Sometimes working in thick mud, other times working in blazing heat, it's thanks to these guys that the drivers can go out and push their cars to the limit. The next event in the Asia Pacific Rally Championship is the third round, the Rally of Queensland, May 25 to 27. 